Exercise 6a question number 1. Um, write down whether or not the following of discrete random variables give reason. So the variables are discrete or not. So that's what we need to know. So part 1a, the height. So I'm not going to read the other bit because uh, I get the uh, I get what I want. So it is a height. The variable is height. So when you take the number line, assume that the plant height is uh, in the minimum one and uh, maximum there is a range. From this range, we can take any number. Assume minimum is three centimeter and the maximum is 20 centimeter. Then uh, we can get three, 3.1, 4.001, 4 4.0000, 4.9, uh, likewise any number we can pick up. So then this x variable is continuous, not discrete. So the answer is uh, uh, variable is continuous and but not discrete in part b the number of times r a six six um, uh, r a six is rolled when a pair die is rolled hundred times the variable x is or y um, the task of this one counting the number of times six appear out of hundred so the first time you get six all hundred times you may not get six or all the hundred times you may get one or two or three likewise up to 100. So when you take number line from 0 to 100, this variable take only certain values, not all the values. The variable doesn't take 1.1 or 2.45 or 2, 3.009. It means he's picking the values from the number line. It means it is not continuous, it is discrete. Part B, a value is discrete as it uh, takes only all numbers at random. Part C, the number of days W in given week. So, uh, given week, number of days, it is fixed number 7. Hence, to become discrete or continuous, it has to be a variable random variable so because this is fixed there is no randomness because of that we can't talk about discrete or random discrete or continuous because variable first of all it has to be random it can't be fixed because the given event has only a fixed number number of days in week is seven always so this is not discrete but because of not because of the value picking because the variable is not random the variable doesn't uh, define properly as variable is not random This is not a discrete random variable as variable is not random. The variable is fixed. Week has always seven days. So this is the reason for fixed. Uh, question number two. The fair dice is drawn four times and the number of times it falls with six on the top y. So that's a variable y. 
uh, that variable class of this variable is uh, count number of times six on top so that is the task of this variable variable count uh, number of times um, when we toss five or four times according to this uh, this sum six there are four times so then if you toss four times so we need to write the sample space um, if you test four times you will not get six at all on top or you may may get one six on or you may get two six or you may get three six or you may get four six so this is the sample space so y equal y so this y is going to be zero one two three four what is the probability of getting 6? We know that is 1 out of 6. Probability of not getting 6? I will tell that this is yes and this is no. 5 out of 6. Then find the probability. You want to find the probability. Then you want to die. do this uh, graph 4 times 4 steps. 1 out of 6, 5 out of 6. 1 out of 6 minus the first take in second, third and fourth. So the answer for this question is this. This is the sample space. Question number 3. Bag contain 2 discs. So 2 discs of 2. And number 2 discs of... Uh, number three actually this has to be same size this equally likely so this all are same size now the question one write down all the possibilities outcome of the this experiment uh, they will take one and then replace so this is with replacement what is the pro okay the outcome so when you take first time you may take let's say two and also second picking also you may take again two first picking you may take two and the second picking two and you put it back then again you pick then you may get sometime three the first, then again you start the experiment again, you take it out and you may get 3. And the second pick, you may get 2. And, and first pick in you may get 3. And the last pick in also you may get 3. So those are the only option you can have. Uh, 2. 3, either 2 or 3 you can get the first picking and the second picking also either 2 or 3 2 or 3 so the 2 2 2 3 3 2 and 3 3 so those are the this is the sample space uh, write down the possible outcome of this segment so those are the those are all outcomes so it is a uh, this is the sample space. Uh, the discrete random variable x is defined as the sum of the two numbers. So this is x defined as the sum of the two numbers. So then uh, this is the random variable. Uh, the sum of two numbers. Then 2 plus 2, 4. 2 plus 3, 5. 3 plus 2, 5. Uh, 3 plus 3, 6. 
um, the sample space for x is 40506. Now, now we want to write the uh, table probability distribution. So, uh, first of all, 4, 5, and 6. 4 will get only 2. This is the outcome. 5, 2, 3, and 3, 2. This is not the table. And this is 3, 3. So, what is the pro getting 2, 2 probability? So, this is getting half and half. Because there are uh, 4 and 2 out of 4, 2 out of 4. Probability of getting 2 is 2 out of 4, which is half. Probability of getting 3 is uh, 2 out of 4, again half. So they all half. So getting 2 and 2 is 1 over 4. And this is also getting 2 and 2 is 1 over 4. 4, 1 over 4, 1 over 4. So this is 1 over 4. So this is 1 over 4, 1 over 4, 1 over plus 1 over 4, 2 over 4. And this is again 1 over 4. So now we can write the probability distribution table. Uh, uh, this is x. x can take either 4 5 or 6 and probability of getting x equal x is a simple x we won't write like this uh, x equal x so this is getting 4 is half we work out sorry 1 over 4 getting 5 is uh, 2 over 4 which is half and getting 6, 1 over 4. So the probability distribution as a table. And as a probability mass function, probability of x taking x. Right? So 1 over 4. And 2 over 4 or half. Half. And otherwise, zero and zero. One over four you will get when uh, if x equal four and six. Half you will get if uh, x equal two. And others, so zero, one, two, three, other values is zero otherwise this is so important if you don't write it's uncomplete the probability mass function and you will lose the marks zero otherwise zero otherwise so this is if x equal not 2 x equal 5 x equal 4 and 6 and x equal 5 and 0 otherwise question number 4 discrete random variable x yeah it is discrete uh, because uh, that variable only take one two three four values some pickings and uh, this is the probability distribution so this x value is taken I the sample is either one or two or three or four values the probability also given this is half, one third, this is one third, this is one over k, and this is uh, one over four. Now we want to find the k. We know total probability, probability of summation probability x equal x e is 1 summation probability 
x equal x is 1 so 1 okay now what is the equal 1 it means probability of x equal 1 plus probability of x equal 2 and probability of uh, add probability of x equal 3 plus probability of x equal 4 is 1. Uh, probability of x equal 1 is 1 over 3rd plus two, again 1 over 3rd when x value is 3 1 over k plus um, 1 over 1 over k plus 1 over 4 is 1. So oh, now we have to simplify this one. Actually, this is given k, not 1 over k. Now I will write as a k. Then k is 1 minus 1 third plus 1 third plus 1 fourth. So k value is going to be 1 minus 11 out of 12, which is 1 out of 12. Question number 5, uh, probability distribution is given, uh, x equal x equal kx, so when you, when x equal 1, p x equal 1, this is going to be k1, which is k, p x equal when you put 2 here, then this is k times 2. This is 2k. Probability of x equal 3. When you put 3 here, this is k3, which is 3k. When you put 4, x equal 4, that is k4. Instead of x, I put 4, that is 4k. Now, x as this table 1, 2, 3, 4. probability of x equal x, k, 2k, 3k, 4k, this is the distribution. Now we need to find k, we know that summation probability x equal uh, x add up to 1 when you add everything it means probability of x equal 1 plus probability of x equal 2 plus probability of x equal 3 plus probability of x equal 4 uh, yes that's all add up to 1 it means p x equal k plus 2k plus 3k plus probability of x equal 4, 4k, 4k plus 1. So this is 10k plus 1, 4 plus 7, 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, uh, 9 plus 1, 10k, k equal 1 over 10. Exercise 6.6. Um, this is the probability mass function is given so when 1 and 3 so x has a sample space 1 2 3 4 the random variable x is taking either 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 when you take 1 or 2 or 3 or 4, probability is given. Now, probability, then x equal 1. When the 1, we have to use this one. k1, which is k. Then, probability x equal 2. When x equal 2, so 2 is here, we have to use this one. k times 2 minus 1, that is again, uh, k 2 minus 1 is 1 1 times k is k 
then probability of x equal 3 x equal 3 that is k 3 3 k and then probability of x equal 4 then k 4 minus 1 that is 4 minus 1 is 3 3 k because 4 value I had used this one uh, now the probability distribution is uh, x probability of x equal x 1 2 3 and 4 now well, this is going to be k k 3k and 3k and now we need to find k as usual find the value of k uh, we know that summation probability x equal x equal 1 so it means probability of uh, x equal 1 plus probability of x equal 2 plus probability of x equal 3 plus probability of x equal 4 is 1 so this is k plus k plus 3k plus 3k is 1 3 3 6 plus 2 8k is 1 k is 1 over 8 now we can substitute this value and we can find this is 108 this is also 108 this is 3 over 8 and now this is 3 over 8 now we want to find the part b probability of x greater than 1 so some one two three four in the this is in the num i put this on into number line x greater than one mean uh, it's not equal it mean i can't take this value so only two three four it mean probability of x equal one plus probability of x equal two plus probability of x equal Sorry, uh, 2, 3, 4, I can't take 1. What is this one? 1 over 8. 3 is 3 over 8. 4 also 3 over 8. So this is 1 plus 3 plus 3 over 8. 7 over 8. So in here they didn't mention 0 otherwise. Yeah, but it's not a reason not to write to you you in the exam you have to write zero otherwise question number seven the sample space for this random variable x is uh, minus two minus one zero one and two When x t equal minus 2, the relevant probability is 0, 1. When x take minus 1, that probability is uh, minus 1, probability is 0, 1 still. Then 0, 1 and 2. When x take x equals 0, that is the zero x take value. This x take 0, the probability of x is beta. Then when it's x take 1, the probability of taking x x 1 is beta again. And x equal 2, probability of getting is 0 0.2. Now we want to find beta as usual. So summation 
probability of x equal x equal one uh, it means zero point one plus zero point one plus beta plus beta plus zero point two is one so two beta plus zero point four is one so two beta is one minus zero point four zero so beta is zero point three now this is zero point three and this is zero point three part b construct the table given the probability distribution so i delete this one but you have to rewrite this one and find the probability minus one x greater than one or two so then number line minus two minus one zero one two the probability you we need minus one x and two so we don't need two and we need one we don't need minus two uh, we need minus one the for equal sign and we need zero and one so in between these interval minus one zero then this is equal to probability of x equal minus one as probability of x equal zero as probability of x equal one so minus one is zero point one zero is zero point three and one is zero point three this is zero point seven question number nine um, the random variables can take any integer value from one to fifty uh, given that x has a discrete uniform distribution now uh, that is one to fifty like uniform distribution i think you can remember that when we toss a die uh, fair die we write uh, the probability of getting uh, the outcome sample is this either when you toss a die you can get one or two or three or four or five or six then uh, one two three four five six and the probability this is x probability of getting x equal one this is one out of six uh, all the for each outcomes the probability is same for each uh, each outcome or yes each outcome the probability is same equally likely distributed the same idea now assume that uh, we can't find uh, uh, die with the 50 side assume it's a computer grain so it is going to be x taking now 1 2 3 4 up to 50 49 50 now then likewise here there are six numbers one out of six equally like like there are 50 outcomes then uh, if i write the x equal x probability x equal x so one two three likewise 48 49 50. so i won't write 50 numbers and this is going to be one out of 50 one out of 50 one out of 50 dot dot one out of 50 one out of 50 one out of 50 dot 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 usually put three dots uh, x equal x so this is the idea of uniform uh, the probability of each outcome has the same probability I think I miss uh, question number eight, so I will discuss after this one. Um, uh, probability of uh, x equal one. 
is now it is very clear that uh, 1 out of 50 and part b probability of uh, x uh, greater than equal to 28 when you take the number line 1 2 3 likewise 27 28 29 up to 50 so you want all the numbers addition it mean we need uh, 28 to 50 how many numbers so there are 50 numbers up to here 27 so 50 minus 27 is 23 basically you want to add probability of x greater than 28 then uh, from uh, probability of x equal 28 probability of x equal 29 likewise up to probability of x equal 50 so likewise so this is 1 over 50 plus 1 over 50 plus dot dot 1 over 50 how many terms 23 terms it means 23 out of 50 or you can work out like this probability of x greater than 28 mean 1 minus probability of x uh, less than no equal to 27 this one mean 1 minus 27 so 1 minus this is 27 up to uh, 50 and 27 23 out of 50 that is also possible so question number C probability of 13 x 40 so now this is a 11 plus x question because the problem is now is not probability problem or a level issue now this is 13 x 42 how many numbers in between it means um, when we consider the number line uh, 13 14 41 and 42 so less than 42 we need 41 more than uh, greater than 13 without 13 which is 14 it means the probability of uh, 14 greater than or equal to x greater than 41 so how many numbers so you can count 14 15 16 17 likewise uh, or you can use different techniques so there are 28 numbers uh, so it's going to be 1 plus 20, 50 plus 1 plus 50, plus like this 1 over 50. So there are 28, that is 20 out of 50, that is 14 out of 25. Uh, question number 8, so this is the distribution. So example space is 0, 1 and 2. So we only need to find a we know that uh, summation uh, probability x equal x equal 1 so then uh, probability x equal 0 plus probability of x equal 1 plus probability of x equal 2 is equal to 1 that is uh, 1 over 4 minus a then plus a plus half a plus a is 1 uh, when you add minus a plus a cancel out so this is uh, uh, 1 out of 4 this is 2 out of 4 3 out of plus a is 1 so a is 1 minus 1 minus 3 out of 4 that is uh, 1 out of 4 so a value is 1 out of 4 then uh, yeah that's all we don't need to write the distribution equation number 10 so sample space is uh, 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 now a probability of uh, 1 greater than x 
greater than or equal to 3. So we need 3, we need greater than 1, so but not equal to 1, we need 2 and 3. So probability of x equal to 2 plus probability of x equal 3, that is going to be probability of x equal to 2 is, is half plus uh, probability of x equal 3, 1 over 8. So this is going to be 5 over 8. B probability x less than 2. Less than 2 means we don't take 2. This one and this one only. So probability of x equal 0 plus probability of x equal 1. So that is 1 over 8 plus 1 over 4, 2 over 8. That is going to be 3 over 8. Now pro part C probability x greater than 0. Greater than 3. Yeah, it has to be 0. Otherwise 0. So this is uh, 0. There is no, greater than 3. There is no outcomes. This has to be 0. Question number 11, it is a bias going, probability of getting head is uh, 2 over 3. The variable S uh, is the number of tosses. Number of tosses. Number of tosses. The scenario is, uh, the coin is tossing 4 times and um, O until it is getting head. The coin is tossing four times. Now, do you think this is going to, you are going to get head uh, with how many tosses? Do you think it's, you are going to get with the first toss? Or you are going to get the, with the second toss. First toss is tail. And the second toss. Or do you think that you are going to get it is the third toss. First, first is fail. Second is fail. And third one works. Or do you think it's going to get the fourth toss. Or from here, do you think that? Uh, oh, we have one more option. Uh, um, plus in here, the stores, yes, 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 and the, the last one also. First of tail, second, third, and the fourth one also were tails. So those are the all possibilities. First toss you will get or the first is fail second, first fail second fail third or first fail second fail and third or those two options or getting hit is one um, is So probability of getting uh, the first toss, uh, the first toss, it's finished. It means the probability of getting head is 2 over 3. Otherwise, within a two toss, experiment finish. In that case, first one, one third is getting tail, uh, two third is getting head. So it, it is going to be 2 out of 9. And the other one, one first time also tail, second time also tail, third time it's fine. So two out of twenty-seven. 
and this one there are two options first time fail second time fail third time fail fourth time success so all the times it's fail so this is two out of 81 as uh, this is going to be one out of uh, 81 so three out of 81 That is 1 out of 27, so 1 out of 27. Part B, probability of uh, S greater than 2, uh, 1, 2, 3 and 4. S greater than 2 mean we need 3 and 4. So this is equal probability S equal uh, 3 plus probability is S equal 4, that is 2 out of 27 plus 1 out of 27, 3 out of 27 is 1 out of 9. Sometimes this sum may count, come in different way, just to give an idea about that. Uh, it says uh, we can do the same experiment, we only count x is number of heads number of uh, heads then so first time fail second and third and tth and o ttn so in that case how many either we can receive one head two head three head um, one, two, three, four head, and with it's going in uh, with the or in that case, uh, four times tosses is going to be the coin is toss uh, four times and no tosses. So if you don't. Uh, just leave it uh, if you, if I confuse you. Question number twelve. Says so spinner. Getting red all are equally likely. Um, spinner spun five times. Write down the table from the probability distribution of following x is number of times red appear. So proper probability of getting red is. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2 out of 5. So it's spun 5 times. 5 times. And all 5 times sometimes uh, this variable x you will not get a single red. For all 5 times you may get a 1 red. For all 5 times you may get a Two red, all five times you may get a three red, or all five times you may get four red, or all five times you may get five reds. So this is the possibilities when you spun the spinner five times. Either you not get red, one red, two red, three red, four red, five red. Uh, probability distribution is x 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 probability of x equal x um, probability of getting red is 2 over 5 probability of not red is uh, Let's say no, 1 over 5. So, in here, first time also no, second no, third no, fourth no, fifth no. It means 1 over, getting first time the red is 1 over 5 times, 1 over 5 times, 1 over 5 times, 1 over 5 times, 1 over 5. 
so one over fifth times how many uh, five the probability of getting no red is one over fifth times five probability of getting one I think I need a connection here. Two out of five, then this is not one not out of five. This is three out of five. So this is three out of five. And this is zero. And actually this was the sum I tried to discuss earlier in number eleven. Now it is here. Uh, now getting one one uh, red so first time you get red and then the other one uh, you may get no reds one two three four oh first time no second time yes and other also no uh, First time you fail, second time fail, and then this is uh, no and uh. uh no no one two three four five then no 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 uh no. And no, 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 ah. Uh, basically, in here, four no's and one R. Everywhere, four no's and one R. So, one R probability of getting one R is uh, two out of five. And no R is three out of five. How many? Four. Three times five. Three to the power of five. Three over five times to the power 4 so how many times 1 2 3 4 5 so in that case 5 times 2 over 5 and 3 over 4 4 or in terms of decimals you can write this is 0 0.6 to the power 5 this is 5 times 0 0.6 and this is um, This is 0 0.4 and 0 0.6 to the power 4. This is a complex version of that uh, tree diagram. Red, no. Red, no. Red, no. So red, no. Red, no. This is a complex version. So next one is 2. 2 reds you will get and three no's so likewise r r no 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 likewise you will get so two reds other one r no 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 r two reds and others no so two r three ends this is two reds it means getting red is uh, two over five and how many twos? Two square and three over five, three nodes. So this is going to be 0.4 square plus uh, three over five mean uh, 0.6 cube. So how many times you will get when you do that? 10 times. So this is going to be 10 times 0 0.4 square, 0 0.6 cube. So this is going to be 10 times. 0 0.4 square and 0 0.6 cube next one is three reds three reds and two ends it means two over five to the power three and one three over five square how many times there this is ten times so 10 times this is uh, 0 0.4 square and this is 0 
sorry cube and 0 0.6 square so this is the 10 times 0 0.4 cube times 0 0.6 square and other one is 4 reds 4 reds and one nose it means there are five this kind of options okay uh, four reds getting red is two over five times four power four and this is three over five just one and likewise there are five so five times uh, this is zero point four four zero point six zero point four four and zero point six addition is five one four five two three three two four six and um, and the last one the last one is uh, all reds five reds i mean Red time, red time, red time, red. It's so it is going to be uh, 0.4 to the power 5. 0.4 to the power 5. Only once there. No reds is 1 and 5 red is 1. So now you are thinking how I did. This is uh, 1, 5, 10, 10, 5. And this is 1 time because this uh, will follow the five times the binomial so what is the according to the pascal triangle for this is one pi c zero pi c one pi c two likewise pi c three pi c four pi c one five ten ten five one we'll discuss in the binomial so that's how i took that one or you have to do that uh, that exercise or but the diagram tree diagram five times when you're free you can enjoy that so we'll write do it again zero one two three four five that variable uh, is x probability of x equal x so 1 multiply by 5 multiply by 10 multiply by 10 multiply by 5 multiply by 1 multiply getting 0 so how many only one uh, getting no reds so it means 3 over 5 uh, no reds mean 2 over 5 0 and red uh, it mean red 3 all all 5 is not red then getting one head 2 over 5 only 1 and 3 over 5 other 4 and how many there are 5 times there are that kind of and then 2 getting red is 2 over 5 likewise there are 2 then getting non red is 3 over 5 there are 3 how many sets like there 10 sets that's why multiply by 10 then 3 heads 2 over 5 this is 3 and 3 over 5 this is 2 so now this is 2 nuns how many sets 10 and then this is 5 uh, times how many heads how many reds 2 to the over 5 times 4 and this is going to be 3 over 5 is 1, 4 plus 5, 
and its follow binomial so this is 5 getting 2 over 5 getting red is 2 over 5 how many 5 and at that time no red 0 0 power is 1 no? 0 power is so this is the distribution you can write as a number uh, when you simplify you will get this is as uh, 0 0.0 7776 0.2592 0.3456 and 0.2304 and 0.0768 and the last one you have to do usually the proper way is add everything and you want to take one minus thing because it has to add up to uh, one if you write a distribution and if it doesn't add up to one it is an issue so that's how you want to the last one when you write uh, you have to show that calculation but uh, this is the working out and you will get a similar answer then you have to round up to this value if you keep this answer as it is and when you add up if it is not one then the, it is not a probability distribution so it is very important that you add everything let's say a b c d e Oh, you add a b c d e and you take uh, drop track from one and keep uh, leave the answer this is very important thing in the sometime the exam will check this one um, yes but still you have to calculate this because if you made a mistake on this one this answer should be more similar if there is a big discrepancy then your calculation is wrong somewhere here now part b number of times yellow probability of uh, getting yellow is one out of five probability of getting um non yellow is uh, four out of five now we want to write the distribution or so we can get either zero zero one two three four or five x probability of uh, this is y is given so this is simple y y equal y probability of y equal y now when you write don't write like me write proper writing y equal y because Now, if you need to know this is follow the binomial, uh, when you with the experience and with the next session you will be fine. So, I know that this is following binomial coefficient 1 times, 5 times, 10 times, 10 times, 5 times and 1 times. Or getting uh, no, no yellows, it means one no five no and uh, multiply by four all other non yellows four over five is five then getting one yellow one no five is one and no over five is uh, how many four fours only two yellows it means 
1 over 5 times 1 over 5, 1 over 5 square. The other 3 is none. So this is 1 over 5 cube and 4 over 5 is square. This is 1 over 5 is uh, 4 and this is 4 over 5 is 1. And this is 1 over 5 is 5 and 4 over 5 is no. You will get when you simplify. Uh, your answer should be uh, 0 0.32768. 0 0.4096 0 0.2048 0 0.0512 0 .0 and 0 0.0024 and this is you want to add everything 1 minus 0 0.32681 plus 0 0.096 plus 0 0.2048 plus 0 0.0512 plus 0 0.0064 that answer should go here so this is your answer uh, this is uh, your answer uh, answer should be uh, 0 0.0064 is your answer Will you check the last digit at least? Uh, so this is 8. 8 plus 6, uh, 14. 14 plus 8, uh, 22. 22 plus uh, 24, 26. And with this one, 28. So it has to be uh, ending with 0. I just check the last number whether I will get 0 adding uh, actually this is 3 0 0 0 3 2 still uh, it's not look like usually we assign that one minus theory to the most impossible one like getting all the times for you it is uh, According to this is most impossible. The next part is uh, is number of uh, lines on blue. So probability of lines on blue is two out of five. Probability of no land in blue is uh, 3 out of 5. Now this this z variable is different one. But spinner is now spun until it lands on blue or, or until it has been spun 5 times. If you get 5 in the first time it's done. So if not uh, if not, it may be second, or it may be third, it may be fourth, or it may be fifth, or no. So basically, now this variable not count number of um, reds, or number of yellows, or number of uh, blue. This will count the number of tosses. So this is the important bit of this one. Is uh, it count the number of tosses? So number of spins. Spins until it get, get blue. Until it gets blue. So now this variable is different from the previous part A and part B. Uh, we know that is it can be 1, 2, 3, 4. Either 1, 2, 2, so 3, 4. This is simple Z. Probability of Z equal. What is it? Now, what is the meaning of this one? In here, you will get the first time blue. 
when you spawn first time you will get blue so what is the probability of getting blue you are not writing other no 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 because first time blue then the contract finish is going to be 2 over 5 then the second option first time no second time blue now then first time no second time uh, we will get blue so first time no it is that is 3 over 5 and second time blue this is going to be um, 2 over 5 so this is going to be 3 or I'll write blue first okay 3 over 5 times 2 over 5 and here what is the meaning of this 3 this 3 is first no second no third do you will get the blue one blue that means 3 over 5 times 3 over 5 times 2 over 5 3 over 5 square times 2 over 5 uh, 3 over 5 times square times 2 over 5 and the last one we have four options right? you will get not uh, 1 2 you will not get 3 you will get you may get uh, blue at last one or you may get still first one no second one no third one no fourth one also no so this one is uh, 3 out of 5 cube plus 2 out of 5 then plus this is again all no's 3 out of 5 uh, 4 so this is going to be 3 out of 5 cube 2 over 5 plus 3 over 5 to the power 4 so you will get this answer 0 0.4 this is 0 0.24, 0 0.144, 0 point, uh, I think the how many times is um, this is not four times, this is it is one in five times then i had discuss one more so this is wrong then four and one more five then four times mean then it's going to be first time yes first time second time no third time no fourth time no fifth times so yes blue so oh, then this is going to be uh, I'm deleting one. So first time so second time no third time no fifth fourth first second third fourth time it works. So this is three over five is three and two over five. So this is three over five three and two over five. And the last one, first time, second time, third time, and fourth time, no, fifth time, yes. Or, first time, no, second time, no, third time, no, fourth time, no, fifth time also. No, in that case, this is going to be 3 out of the power 4. This is B is uh, 2 out of 5. Plus, this one is... Uh, 2 out of 5 to the power 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, 3 out of 5 to the power 4, 2 over 5 plus 2 over 5 to the power 5. Uh, this is this value is going to be 0 0.0864 and this is 0 0.1296. This is 3 out of 5. Finally, make sure that this addition is up to 1 or find the most impossible and you can write 
1 minus. Question number 13. Explain how this is the distribution. How you know that the function does not describe the probability distribution. If it is not add up to 1, it's not a probability distribution for p x equal when it is 2, 2 over 2 square, 2 over 4. Probability of x equal 3, that is 2 over uh, 3 square, 1 over 9. Probability of x equal 4, that is 2 over 4 square, uh, so this is 2 over 9, 2 over 16. Uh, the probability of x equal 2 plus probability of x equal 2, uh, 3 plus probability of x equal 4 is 2 over 4, 1 over 2 over 9, 2 over 16, uh, 2 over 16 equal 61 over 72 uh, is not equal to 1. Hence, uh, the sum is not add up to 1. Hence, p x equal x is not uh, probability mass function of a distribution that is part a part b now so the correct one is k over x square mm, yes and the same one x equal to 3 4 then k k k then this is going to be like this add up to k over 4 k over 9 uh, equal k over 4 plus k over 9 plus k over 16 16 and uh, this is equal to 1 so uh, that is going to be 61k over 144 equal 1 k equal 144 over 61 equal to 22 out of 61 here we want to write summation p x equal x equal 1 as total probability is add up to 1.